This video is going to uh, cover the reworking of the wing glove area, top strake area. You'll notice that in the, in the real thing, the strake cuts in in parallel with that bladder line, and the turtle deck goes past it. So we're going to be recreating that uh, with this modification. So we're going to take the one that came with the kit, the uh, wing glove, and we're going to mark a line parallel five centimeters in. And we're going to do the same thing over here, parallel with the, uh, with the bladder line. And if you do it correctly, it should line up with that center line there. We're also going to draw on the turtle deck where that's going to go. And we're going to cut this out like that. So you'll see how far the turtle deck will go past. And also the edges there are rounded, so we're going to take a sanding block and round out the edges there. We're going to do a little more sanding later on when we hook on a doubler. But uh, we're just going to hit that with a sanding block. And you can see it's starting to look more already like the actual uh, F14, uh, according to the model there. And we're going to make the deck between the nacelles a little bit longer, too. So we're going to take some extra stock, mark that, and uh, cut that out uh, with a knife. So we'll have a longer piece. We're going to end up trimming that a little shorter later on. But you'll see uh, now we have a longer piece. We're going to work with that a little bit later. Right now, what we have to do is we have to make a doubler for the wing glove. And uh, we do that by copying the wing glove and then drawing with a sharpie where that doubler is going to be. And then through a quick little cutting montage, we're going to uh, cut this piece out, uh, the doubler, that's going to then be eventually glued on to the bottom of the, uh, the wing glove top strake. Little quick cutting montage. Cut, 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 cut. Total of four cuts. Last one being pulled away. And you can see... This is what the piece is actually going to look like, the doubler piece. It's just going to go on the edges there, like that. And uh, I'm going to just temporarily put it uh, with a piece of tape on the bottom of the uh, wing glove and put it in position so you can kind of see how that's going to work. It creates a slot for the two wings then to retract back into, just like the real thing. And, of course, they're rounded, and these are currently flat, so we're going to need to sand those down. So we're going to stick it on a little Dipron stick there so we don't get our hands all sticky with Super 77 spray. And we're going to go ahead and shoot that into a uh, plastic-lined garbage can so we don't get that spray all over, the all over the place. Give it a nice spray, and then we're going to have to tack it on. Keep that stick on there to keep, it, uh, keep your hands from getting sticky as you're trying to align it on there. And we'll press it down so it's perfectly aligned with the edge of the wing glove. Pick it up with the stick and there it is. So now we're all ready to uh, sand down this straight edge here. We're going to give it kind of a curve. So we're going to take the sanding block again and hit with the sanding block a little bit to curve that out a little and uh, make it more like the the real uh, wing glove. And when we're all done it should just have a little more curve on it. It should curve all the way down to that decking piece. There's the final assembly. If we were to put it into position, not gluing it on yet to the deck, it'll start to look like that. So it's starting to look a little more like the real deal. Now we're going to concentrate on the turtle deck that goes past the wing glove. And there's also a little cutout there as it hits the back of the canopy. So it's an extra little turtle deck there. And so we're going to make a, a little mock-up of it right now with uh, extra Depron using a, a long 18-inch ruler. We're going to scribe out what this template is going to be. This is the side template. And you'll notice a little later I'm actually creating a little notch on it. Like It's going to be like a little handle so that I can uh, hold this piece uh, while I'm using the belt sander. And we're going to do another quick little cutting montage that cuts out that side piece. Wow, look at all those cuts. Cut, 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 cut. And we're going to trim it a little bit with the belt sander so that when we put it up to the model, we get a nice fit there. And here's the two little templates for the sides. There's also one for the top. There it is right there. And you'll see it goes past the wing glove. And you can see when it hits the back of the canopy there, we're going to have to do that shape. So uh, the back of the canopy was created, actually, with a little template I found uh, from the top of a wood putty jar. I just scribed around it. And uh, then, again, with a little quick cutting montage, I cut out that piece, getting pretty close to the line and then using a sanding block to get all the way to the line. This is the back of the canopy, and that'll allow the clear plastic canopy right here 
to conform to that line, it's, it's not flat as molded. It should be like this. It should be kind of a semicircle. So that'll keep the canopy in shape. And uh, that gets put on the back of the canopy box in kind of a uh, angled back form. And when the canopy box gets put on there, uh, this will be where the back of the turtle deck hooks onto. And right now, the turtle deck is going to be a little beyond it. But again, this is just a template because we're not actually going to use Depron for this, uh, these flat sheets of Depron. We're going to use these foam pieces, uh, this pink foam that we got from the local hardware store. These were free. These are the ones that they use to separate the pallets so the forklifts could in, get in there. I went in, found those pieces, and I said, how much? And they said, well, why don't you just take them? We're not going to use them anyway. So a little free stuff there. If you ever need those blocks, just go to your... your uh, home store and they should be able to get them to you for free. So we're going to use the template, this is the top one, to cut out the de uh, to cut out this foam block and then we're going to use the belt sander to uh, sand it down to the line. I first used a hacksaw actually to get it very close and now I'm using the belt sander to trim it in to the line. And there's the contour of the back of the canopy box and right there is the little handle that I'm going to create so that I can actually hold this piece and uh, to be able to do the curve. So I'm just sanding it a little more down. And so now we're going to try to make this curve here. And we're going to do that on the belt sander. And I'll show you just how easy it is. It takes about maybe five seconds. Here we go. I'm holding on to that little handle, as you can see, and I'm rotating it on the belt sander. No mess. This is actually hooked up all to a vac system. As you can see, there's no dust flying anywhere. And there is the curve. One of two, perfectly done in less than 10 seconds. And then the other curve. There it is. So that's 20 seconds total. We have the basic curve for the turtle deck. And uh, now we're going to create that other little part right there. And that's just easily done with uh, sanding blocks and sandpaper. And you create that second little kind of tiered turtle deck look. Exactly like the full scale F14. Get that all nice and perfect. I use fine grit sandpaper after I put it on the belt sander to make sure it's nice and smooth. And when this is all assembled, look at that profile. It is extremely close to the full size F14. And uh, it's going to be a really nice scale addition to the Shoemade F14 model. Not very hard to do. And uh, then I'll assemble it all together, give it a light fiberglassing treatment to match the top of the strake. And uh, that's it.